Have you discovered the beautiful world of Narciso Rodriguez fragrances yet? Well, stay with me whilst I review the latest creation, which is the Narciso Eau de Parfum Rouge by Narciso Rodriguez. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Ellie Smells and today I'm really happy to be bringing the latest fragrance creation from Narciso Rodriguez which is the Narciso Eau de Parfum Rouge so don't forget to like and subscribe throughout my review and firstly I'm going to just give you a little bit of history about Narciso Rodriguez because I'm sure that there's a few of you that haven't heard of him before or don't really know a lot about him so Narciso Rodriguez is an American fashion designer. He was born in 1961 in New Jersey to Cuban parents. And in his earlier life, he was surrounded by a lot of women, particularly family members that used to do a lot of sewing and making um, their own clothes. And he was really interested in this. So after continuing his design education, he then went on to freelance and work for places such as Calvin Klein, as well as creating some iconic wedding dresses for different people. And then in 1997, he created his own label. But his first creation of fragrances were the Narciso Rodriguez for her range, which were started in 2003. So this is actually the fourth flanker in the Eau de Parfum range. You have the original Eau de Parfum, the Narciso Eau de Toilette, the Narciso Eau de Parfum Poudre, and now this one, the Eau de Parfum Rouge. So as you'll see from the bottle, it's like a transparent cube and the inside of it is actually where all of the beautiful red paint is actually put in. It's quite heavy and chunky and it has the lovely red top, square top. So as you'll see, it's very sort of like clean lines, quite sort of like easy to hold, but it's got that beautiful fiery red, which is really sort of like, seems to be iconic quite now. So loving the bottle, automatically when you look at this, you know it's a Narciso fragrance. So, as you'll know from maybe one of my earlier videos, I am a Narciso Rodriguez fragrance lover, particularly the Fleur Musk. So, I'm going to spray this nice, now, sorry, nice, first liberally on myself, and then onto the blotter. So, the colour of the bottle makes it seem fiery, passionate and seductive and the fragrance is just the same. So this one is actually classed as a floral woody musk and when you first spray it you do get the top notes of the Bulgarian rose and iris and I just adore iris which is probably why I love this fragrance. But it's not overtly rosy, it's not like a cold rose, it's very warm and inviting, quite sensual. And then you have the beautiful heart notes of musk, which Narciso Rodriguez uses in all of his fragrances. It's like one of his fragrant favourite essences to use. So that heart note of the musk just makes it very warm, very seductive. So, so far it's really such a beautiful fragrance. And I know when I've worn this this past week, people have actually commented on it because it just sits on my skin and just suits me so well. And then you've got a heavier, more sort of like impactful, mysterious base notes of white and black cedar. You've also got vetiver in there, which makes it quite earthy. And then you also have the tonka bean, just giving it that sort of depth and impact. So that is just really, really beautiful. I think that anybody that sort of like gets the chance to try this needs to because although it is sort of like musky and woodsy, those florals and the iris just make it sort of like really easy to wear, especially at this time of year. But also it just leaves that lovely, wonderful, subtle trail of fragrance behind you. So lovely. And I would say that anybody that likes fragrances such as the Chanel Chance, which is iris and cedar based, this would be a good one to try. And also if you like things like um, this sea 
by Giorgio Armani and also the Black Opium and any of the fragrances which are sort of like slightly more ambery or woodsy because definitely that's the effect that you get from this one. It's just absolutely delicious. So this is going to be another one that I'm going to want to have. And like I say, it really says everything about it in the bottle. It's sort of like very feminine, very warm on the skin, seductive, sensual and mysterious. And let's face it, ladies, that's how we all like to appear. So this is definitely one I think that would be worthwhile the trying, especially if you've not tried any of the Narciso Rodriguez fragrances before. And at the moment, they are sort of like doing a little gift with purchase, which is this rather lovely, I don't know if you would say it was a makeup bag or a little clutch, just something ideal for summer, just to maybe pop your lipstick, your keys and your phone in. But definitely that lovely red, just giving that pop of colour. So... If you've tried the Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, go along, try this one. Let me know what you think to it, whether you're a lover of the Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, whether you like this one in particular. And if you haven't, um, let me know anyway. Let me know what you think about these fragrances. Leave me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon on Ellie Smiles. So bye for now.